So when you're learning from some of my videos, the important thing you're trying to pick up is not how do I solve this specific problem, but what is the underlying process to solve a problem? What am I looking for? What are the steps that I'm taking? A lot of people look at the videos and they say, how do you make it look so easy? And that's because I have a very clear understanding of the process that I'm going through when I'm solving a problem. Some of you, when you're going to be looking at the problem, you don't want to break down the, okay, I did this step, I did this step, I did this step, and I'm going to do those exact same steps in the next problem. That's not what you're looking for. You're looking for the underlying process by which you solve a problem. And that's a really key thing. That's a really important thing, a subtle distinction. It's the difference between, let me see if I can come up with an analogy. It's the difference, let's say you're playing the piano, right? And we don't learn the master of the piano by saying, you press this key, then this key, then this key, then this key, then this key, okay? We teach you a process, and the process is you look at the notes, but you look at what's coming up, and your hands need to match and anticipate the next step in that song. And that will generalize to more, more any song that you have that you're looking at. Right? If you are just following step by step what's happening in a specific problem and you don't understand why those steps are being made, you're not going to be able to generalize it to another problem in a different scenario. So when you're studying a problem, when you're studying how to break down a problem, it's not just about the steps. It's why that step and not a different step. Why are we making this move right now? Why are we taking, why is Alan, why am I, or whoever you're watching do problems, why are they deciding to do that as opposed to something else? And you want to start building a framework, a process by which you break down problems. Okay, and so I've specialized and built that out for physics, but it generalizes to other subjects. And the process cannot be, I just plug something into an equation. That's a very simple process. And that is not really what you're trying to get at when you're doing physics, especially. You're trying to identify what are the steps? What are the underlying principles that we are using to break down a problem? And that's really what you're studying. You're not trying to study all different problems so you see all different scenarios. Rather, you're trying to understand within each scenario, what is the underlying process that I'm using to solve problems?